Since I returned from Istanbul, I have not been involved in any meeting, any preparatory meeting. I listened that the two generals were supposed to have met yesterday. I have not been made aware of that. I don't know the details of that. I hear the minister saying that they're working on some document. I don't know what some mechanism or something like that. I have not seen it. I am the representative of the People's United Party so far. The point is this, that the current government is dealing with this on their own and they believe that they can invite the People's United Party to occasional meetings. I speak for myself and I believe I speak for the party. We are not going to tolerate that type of disrespect. We have put to the government repeatedly the need for a comprehensive plan, the need for a strategy to deal with this issue. We have offered our expertise and experience and to say we are ready to do it in a national effort and it has been rejected repeatedly by the government. It results in the type of embarrassment that we had in the Dominican Republic last week or earlier this week because it is very clear we had said that Ambassador Lisa Schumann, who has extensive experience and expertise in OAS matters, was going to be our representative to the Dominican Republic at the General Assembly of the Organization of American States. We set out to the Prime Minister in writing the different issues that we thought needed to be dealt with there. The Prime Minister wrote back and said, one, noted, and two, Lisa was not going to go. And Ambassador Schumann cannot go because the Foreign Minister of Guatemala says he's too busy and can't meet with Belize. I regard that as a dereliction of duty. We should have gone there and we should have put on the table a very strong resolution condemning the illegal behavior by Guatemala. We should have called upon our partners to see what is happening, brief them fully and call upon them to issue a strong resolution and a strong plan of action for the return to normalcy in the SARS-2. But regrettably, regrettably, our foreign ministry has been negligent and has mismanaged this matter. The result is that Guatemala continues to exercise control over the entire SARS-2. It is an absolute disaster.